Hallelujah. Hope you praise the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength during that psalm music, and you're ready to receive now active prayer. Amen. So this is the time whenever I pray for you, however the Holy Spirit tells me. Um, I always go into prayer about what to pray, what the theme of the prayer is, first of all. Whether it's a deliverance prayer, inner healing prayer, physical healing, intercessory prayer, or edification of the saints. And that's the topic today. I'm supposed to edify you. So, I'm going to move in the Holy Spirit, and you just receive from the Father. Okay? Here we go. And you may have a Bible there and just rest it on your heart. I even encourage you and build you up. Heavenly Father, thank you for these saints out here. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your love, your kindness, your grace, and your mercy towards all of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for life and love and joy. Thank you for everlasting love that you've given us through Jesus. Praise be to you. Praise be to you. Praise be to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to these saints out here listening right now. I love you with an everlasting love. I'm going to speak what I'm hearing from the Father and from Jesus right now. I speak with, I speak to you right now through Jesus. Should I kick it to the floor? I love you with an everlasting love. You are my children. Do not be discouraged or get caught up in the cares of this world. For I am with you to the end of the age. I will never leave you or forsake you. Do not rely on your own strength, but by my strength. You will overcome the evil one. Do not be disworried or dismayed about the times and the seasons going on in this world. Only look at me. Look at my eyes. Look to me, Jesus says. For I am your strength. I am your comforter. I will send the Holy Spirit upon you, and he will give you more comfort. Be hidden in my wings and under my wings. Be hidden in me, says Christ, that is accomplished through my word. Live my word and eat my word. May your word be your daily bread. My word be your daily bread. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Use your authority. Take control of situations by the power of and might of my Holy Spirit. It can begin to change the atmosphere in your home, in schools, in the marketplace. By walking in my authority, I have given you. For behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Do not walk in fear, my little children, for I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. And my love is perfect for you, and it casts out fear. Accept my love and remove the fear out of your bones, out of your, out of your flesh, and out of your mind. Always seek my mind, the mind of Christ, because my ways are higher than your ways, and the enemy wants to deceive your thoughts. You must be rooted in my mind. Stay in my thoughts. Stay in my word. Take every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ, myself. Thank you, Jesus. The <clears throat> excuse me. The race is long. You need endurance, and I give you that endurance. For my yoke is light and easy to bear. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. You are an overcomer through me and my blood. They overcame him, Satan, by what? The blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Trust in the blood of Jesus. Speak your testimony. It has power. Share your testimony with unbelievers because the power of the Holy Spirit is behind it. For the Holy Spirit drew you out. Go and make disciples in all nations and be bold. Be courageous. 
Do not fear over your life, for I hold it in the palm of my hands. Pray often, daily, hourly. Pray. And yes, give alms to the poor, the destitute, the widows, the unlovable. Be the light and the salt of the earth. That's what I've called you to be, my ambassadors. I love you, my dear children. Go out with boldness and courageousness. Do not look back. You are a new creation in me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you received that with joy. I hope you're edified by that. I was just speaking when I was hearing from the Lord. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, intercede for these saints. You'd give them joy, love, and peace, and endurance for the race ahead, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Refill them with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost fire right now. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I ask, intercede for them, Father God. You'd fill them in Jesus' name with a new fresh anointing, a new fresh filling of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well. If this ministry has blessed you in the past, if you would consider giving to us financially, we'd appreciate that. We have ministry trips, um, missionary trips, and uh, things we'd like to do for the Lord that does take funds to do that. So, anyway, God bless you. I pray you have a blessed week. Go out, be bold, be courageous. And, um, you know, if you need refreshing, this is going to be on our YouTube channel under the prayer portion of this particular topic, the Church of Acts, Part 2, I will title it, and then you can go back and listen to that again, and it'll rebuild you up. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless. See you next week with another topic. It might be the Church of Acts, Part 3.